to How to Cake It, I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm making a giant peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Cake. That's my jam. The bell's ringing! Let's get to it! Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> it's like I planned it. <laughs> to make this cake, I baked eight pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake in two square pans. That's gonna be the bread. Now I need to shape these two square cakes into bread slices. So you know, like that sort of rounded top and square at the bottom. Oh, you're doing like the Like a loaf, dip. yeah, the yeah. dip. I love bread. <laughs> I love bread. And I really love cake that looks like bread. <laughs> Once I'm happy with my slices, I then simple syrup my giant bread slices. Sir Squeeze a lot was confused. He thought he was syruping bread and I had to reassure him it is cake. It is time to crumb coat and chill these cakes, but I only need to crumb coat and chill the sides of each giant bread slice and the top of one of them. Once my crumb coat is chilled, I ice the cakes again. For all the tools I use to get a great crumb coat and chill and a great ice on my cakes, there are details in the description below. Crumb coat and chill. I'm, I'm being very serious about the fact that we need theme songs. <laughs> it's time for me to cover the top of one slice of bread cake. This will be the top of my sandwich when I'm done. So it's a very light, off-white ivory bread color. <laughs> bread color. Once it's nice and thin, I'm talking thinner than an eighth of an inch, I drape it onto the top of my slice of bread, smooth it on. Once all the excess fondant is trimmed, I want to add some texture. The inside of a slice of bread is quite textured. It's like dimply and holy and, you know, bready. And I kind of try to create the pattern round and round, because if you look at a slice of bread, often the dough has been rolled up. And if you really pay attention, it's kind of spiral. So I try to give my texture a little bit of direction. If you love giant food cakes like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, please share this video. There is a button below to help you do that. And actually, we have a whole playlist of giant food cakes where I cake different types of food and your favorite snacks, and you can find them all right here. Now we're gonna decorate the crust parts of our bread, both slices. I measure the circumference of my slice. It's still a circumference if it's not round? No, perimeter. Perimeter. Yes! I've never used perimeter on how to cake it. That has to be impossible. Orhan, please deny or confirm. Are we in a born <laughs> film? Orhan, please deny or confirm. I roll out my fondant nice and thin and to its desired length, and then I cut it in half lengthwise so that I have two long bands that I can now wrap around my bread slice cakes. I use a French rolling pin and I just roll up all that fondant onto the rolling pin and then I pick it up, line it up with the side of my cake and unravel it. It was so much fondant, it sometimes falls off the pin as long as you can keep it together and get it around fast enough that it doesn't rip or tear. As you guys know, I have a cake book coming out and this is your chance to win a copy before it even hits the shelves. Oh my gosh, the book is being printed as we speak. <laughs> Woo! Inspirational quotes are a huge thing now. Every time I scroll my Instagram, I'm sucked into a quote and I too have my own way of inspiring. I'll be sharing some of my favorite hashtag yo quotes from my videos and it's your job to guess what video it's from. Head over to my Instagram, my handle is right here. If you want to participate, all the details are there. Hashtag yo quotes. Now that my crust is on my cakes, I'm not going to trim it just yet. I'm going to chill it first, and this will prevent even more tearing. So I pop my cake slices, or bread, sli bread cake slices, into the fridge. Now that my fondant is firm, I'm going to pull my cakes back out of the fridge, and I'm going to use a sharp paring knife to cut the crust flush with the top of the cake. So I really want to hold the blade flat and run it along the top of the cake all around the perimeter, <laughs> removing the excess fondant. See how I threw it in there again? <laughs> Great job. Good. Obviously, I will have a seam, and bread has no seams. I'm pretty sure. Unless it's like monkey bread, the kind you pull apart. Oh, that would 
that's so good. Oh my god, I really want bread and butter right uh, now. Why did you say that? So I need to address my seam by making a little bit of a fondant paste. I filled in the seam. Now I'd like to add texture to the crust. I'm going to use a sculpting tool and I'm just sort of indenting the sides of the crust. Because you know how when you have a slice of bread from like a loaf, it's kind of rippled along the sides, right? And along the bottom side of the bread, I once again am poking some holes and I'm using a ball tool and a bone tool to create some texture along the bottom, which looks very different than the sides and the top of the bread. Were you a cut off crust girl, Jocelyn? Nope. Jeremy? Nope. Me neither, I like crust. Yeah, yes! Crust good. This is why we found each other. <laughs> Which side are you on? Which team are you on? We're gonna arrange a worldwide meeting. It's time to paint my bread. You've never heard that before. Paint my bread! That could be a reality show. Paint my bread. Paint my ride. Where did that go? Remember uh, exhibit. 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 We'll get exhibit to host paint my bread. Yeah. I need to paint the top surface of my top slice of bread. I'm going to use a bit of ivory and again a touch of black, the same colors I used to mix the fondant. And what I want to do is just subtly enhance the bread. And now that it's dimpled and has texture, hopefully the color will sort of fall in and that will really help make it look more realistic. Now it's time to paint the crust. I also painted my crust with the same shades of food coloring that I dyed the fondant with. So that was ivory, buttercup yellow, and brown. So I want to paint the bottom of the bread slice just a touch darker. The sides, I really want to paint in the same direction as the texture I created. Along the top, I painted horizontally, creating brush strokes. And as the paint starts to evaporate and dry, you can see those brush strokes a little bit more and it creates a texture. I want it to look like the golden top of a slice of bread. Well, now I have two slices of bread, but this bread told me it felt empty inside. What's better than PB&J? For the filling, I'm going to make my peanut butter frosting, the same one I used in the chocolate and peanut butter cake. Yum! Yum! But I wanted it to be even peanut butterier. And not only did I add extra peanut butter, I took some salted, roasted peanuts, just rough chopped them, so not too fine, and then folded them into my frosting. A link to my chocolate peanut butter mega cake video where I make this peanut butter frosting is in the description below. That cake was so good. The first thing I do is lay the first slice of bread cake. Now I'm going to spread my peanut butter a nice thick layer, like a quarter of an inch. The real controversy in this video is that you can't even take a peanut butter sandwich to school anymore. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, that's right. You can't. <laughs> that's true. In our day, it was like, I would have eaten nothing. What would what would I have eaten? <laughs> Here's your bread, Yolanda. <laughs> I don't want it to overflow too much because when the weight of the other cake hits it, it will naturally ooze out. Now that my frosting is set up, I'm going to spread my jam on top. For a minute, I was worried that I got the wrong jam because I think peanut butter and jam is supposed to have strawberry jam. Oh. For a moment, I just I was going to get raspberry because I really like raspberry jam. Yes. But do you think it's supposed to be strawberry? Again, let's have a vote. Mm. Hashtag strawberry. Mm. Hashtag raspberry. We have so many we like some, debates. Yeah. We have serious debate going on in the comments of this video. Yum. Oh, remember my strawberry cake? I wonder if this jam was made of his family. <laughs> Do you think? I there were know. no googly eyes in the jam, for the record. <laughs> so I don't think it was them. I spread my jam all over the top of my peanut butter frosting and now it's time to top this open face sandwich with a final slice of cake bread. I didn't use a ruler or try to line it up perfectly. I did, however, use a ruler to cut it into two triangles. <laughs> How can I bite this, Jocelyn? <laughs> can you hold it without the board? Let's find out. Everyone stand by. I can't bite this, look. Or hunt, insert dramatic music. <laughs> look, I'm measuring. Do split screen with hamburger or hunt. Right here, right here. Oh, that's great. Actually, put up me with the peanut butter chocolate slice. Let's just go all in. Uh -uh. You can do it. Uh -uh. No, you got this. Just bite. Like, pull your face away now. Uh, it hit my roll. Please subscribe to this channel. Please share this video. It's the least I can do. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once my crumb coat is chilled, I ice the cakes again, both, I ice the cakes, once the cakes are chilled, I, no, once my crumb coat is chilled, I ice the cakes again, 
I don't want to say again again. Once the crown coat is oh, chilled. With, just say with the time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Once the cakes are chilled, once the crown coat is chilled, I ice the cakes. <laughs> You know what, yo, I think we need to go back I to school. I need to go back to school. <laughs>